Imagine you meet your friends, your family, but not in reality. Rather, in a 3D world, one that is created artificially. It's your birthday and you enter a room where there's your cake, your friends, your family, and then you take off your VR headset and realize how depressing that is, being all alone. Metaverse, AR, VR, virtual reality, mixed reality. There's gonna be a lot of things. I expect you to know nothing about the metaverse because I'm gonna take you from zero to 100. Saying what the metaverse is now is like saying what the internet is back in the 90s. There's no concept of online marketing, social media, content creators. I mean, the list just goes on. What if I told you everything that you know about life is about to change real soon? The way you play video games, dine, shop, hang out with friends, and even commute to work. Do you do you know about Facebook? They recently changed their name to something called Meta. Stay tuned till the end to know more about their name change. The word metaverse is made up of two words, meta and verse. Meta comes from the Greek word that means beyond, and verse is just simply taken from the word universe. The word metaverse was first used in the year 1992 in the science fiction book Snow Crash, written by Neil Stevenson. In this book, he talked about a dystopian world, a world where real life has been destroyed and the outdoor wasn't inhabitable by humans and essentially everyone changed to a virtual world. Let's define the word metaverse and then discuss it. A network of 3D virtual worlds are connected and thus creates the metaverse. Whatever we construct on the metaverse will be at the intersection of virtual reality, Web 3.0, and blockchains. We need to look at the three parts individually, starting with Web 3.0, which will be the next version of the internet. Yes, there are more versions of the internet. There are three phases of the web, Web 1.0, Web 2.0, and Web 3.0. Web 1.0 is obviously the first version of the web. Static websites that were mainly used for informational sharing. Users didn't really have the option to interact with it, they can only view it. Web 2.0 is what we currently have. It's community driven and user generated items make up the majority of it. It's also in extremely interactive, which allows for so many different activities. The best part about Web 3.0 is that you can use and buy assets over the internet. This includes everything that you create, anything you acquire or sell, as well as any protected intellectual properties. This is very much made possible by blockchains and more specifically NFTs. We are now gonna explore virtual reality and augmented reality who uses technology to create a fully stimulated environment. You go to a blockchain-based decentralized online real estate marketplace, you locate a piece of virtual real estate that piques your interest and a blockchain-based NFT non-fungible token is used to confirm the owner. The smart contract instantaneously transfers ownership of the digital asset to your blockchain wallet after the payment has been received and verified. You use a cryptocurrency like Ethereum to either put a bid or to buy the property. Now that the virtual property is available for use, development, or sale, now that the ownership history is transparent on the blockchain. You might be asking yourself, well, dude, physical concerts, the vibes are better. You know, I can feel like I actually can hear them and I can feel the sweat and everything's just at a point right, right now where the metaverse and this technology hasn't expanded. But let me assure you, we are getting there and the experience that you feel in the physical world, imagine that amplified while not having those gross porta potties or a 20 minute traffic lot to get through just to go to a concert that is gonna cost more and it's not gonna be nearly as immersive as this will be we all heard about Nike right so recently Nike just went ahead and acquired a company called artifact so the reason why this acquisition is so important is because the king of the shoe game is now involved in the metaverse their showing presents where if I buy a shoe I can get that in a digital asset and put it on my digital self which could be crazy considering if there's any limited shoes, if there are anything that goes out of stock. I got it. That's valuable. It's on the blockchain. But it's not just Nike. We're talking about competitors. We got Adidas in it, which they already have a part of their website. It's called the Metaverse Collection, where they already started planting stores and different types of strategy, which includes applications with things called the Central Land. Other companies such as Louis Vuitton, Burberry, Gucci, now I know you guys heard about it. They're moving themselves into the metaverse and, and it's so significant considering that this could be the new form of value for digital assets of your digital self. This is replacing your physical wardrobe. Now I get it, when we go shopping, sometimes things don't fit, right? In the digital world, that will never happen. You will find whatever you like, it'll fit on your digital self. It is crazy. You know how many pants that I've had to return because they won't fit, right? This eliminates all that risk. 
and especially when we're showing ourselves online so often, this becomes the new form of flexing. This becomes, hey, did you get that new Louis Vuitton digital bag? What? You got it? That's exactly what this will be. If you have no idea how this new thing works and you quickly dismiss it as a dystopian nightmare, you're gonna be left behind when reality sets in virtually and digital. People are getting educated in this space and there's a lot of space for opportunities and to be more educated in something that's growing so fast. So don't miss out on this crazy run that we're about to go on. So instead of viewing a screen in the physical world, users instead become fully engrossed in artificial reality that only exists digitally and they can interact in real time with digital assets within this artificial digital world. We'll discuss the blockchain in this session and why the metaverse uses it. Previously, we talked about a variety of technologies, but right now, I wanna talk about the blockchain so that you fully understand it. A distributed ledger technology called blockchain can be used securely and record open transactions. A computer network is used to maintain the shared database. Each blocks in the chain links to the ones before, and it provides a record of transaction. This makes it incredibly challenging to alter it or to compromise it on the blockchain. In the metaverse, blockchain can be applied to establish a safe and open transaction ledger that may be used to monitor the ownership of virtual items, clothing, land, and weaponry. Two, make a separate market to make it possible to trade digital assets without the use of a mediator, such as a bank or a government. Three, create a voting process that might be used to decide on changes in the metaverse's rules and regulations. And lastly, create a safe identification system that would enable users to authenticate themselves in the metaverse without disclosing any of their personal information to any outside parties. Facebook already has their eyes set on the metaverse and it goes into the name of Meta, their new name. This presents a huge turning point as companies are now going to have to pay attention to the metaverse to remain competitive in the market. The metaverse is the next big step in the internet evolution. It's the convergence of a physical and virtual reality in a shared online space. The reason why Facebook is heavily interested in the metaverse is that it wants to take the first mover advantage of the new online digital world. As explained before, people can buy digital assets on the internet or own part of the internet. Metaverse has the capabilities of everything such as education, health, travel, business meetings, shop, entertainment, or it can even hold elections online by sitting in the comfort of your own home. The companies that are heavily investing are trying to build control and influence over everything of this new digital world. So why is this happening? Some of the biggest tech companies are making very big bets on some of the things that we don't truly understand yet. They have been fairly accurate in the recent years, so there's gotta be something that they know that we don't yet. The idea is to bring you into a space where you can actually see how the metaverse is actually being used in people's lives. Furthermore, you have the opportunity to share yourself inside this platform, which is controlled by Facebook using Web 3.0. You have the ability to read, write, and also the ability to own things. There's property rights in Web 3.0. For example, in Decentraland, you can actually buy land inside it. For many people, their idea of the metaverse is that it's never going to be a wide range use. In fact, it's gonna be very limited to the lives of a very small tech savvy group who are going to wear their VR lenses. And that's it. As the world has been evolving and technology has been progressing, people have gotten used to working from home. Many people do not go to the office but rather they telecommute and work remotely from their homes as the metaverse steps into the conversation. There are many other opportunities for you to be able to work remotely and more efficiently. Let's take a look at what working in the metaverse will look like. Imagine if you can be in the office without the commute, you would still have that sense of presence and shared physical work and shared physical space. There's chance interactions that will make your day accessible from anywhere. Now imagine that you have your perfect work setup and you can actually do more than in your regular work setup. And on top of that, you can wear your comfy sweatpants and hoodie and you can continue rocking those fire sweatpants that I know are comfy. Some people will say that the metaverse will only be virtual, but one day the farmer will use augmented reality to ensure the best yield. Urban planners will model traffic solutions to help decrease commute time. 
Just imagine how much time and money are going to be saved. One day, the metaverse will help students explore the rings of Saturn, since it will be virtual, but the impact will be real. Fast evolving technology that might completely alter the way our life is, is the metaverse. Even though it's still in some of its early stages, we are still seeing some of the ways that it can impact sports, business, and education. We may anticipate seeing more cutting edge and fascinating applications of the metaverse as technology advances. It's difficult to predict some of the metaverse's potential impacts just because of the size and the complexity. Technology seems obvious that it might alter how we interact with the environment that's around us. It may obfuscate the boundaries between the physical and digital worlds and open up fresh channels for interaction, teamwork, and creation. The metaverse is a virtual world that is becoming increasingly popular. It's made possible by technologies of virtual reality and augmented reality. While AR glasses project digital material into the real world, VR headsets immerse users into a whole digital experience. There's a lot of room for whole new growth and a lot of opportunities. People are buying digital assets, NFT, memes, land, and whatnot. Imagine becoming a digital real estate investor, seller, or reseller over the next 10 years. We hope you find this video valuable and thank you for watching the video until the end.